Hi everyone, welcome back to Paracord Planet. My name is Ross, and you may remember me from our previous Monkey Fist Snowman video. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking over that dr They put it up, didn't they? So you may not have noticed, but we here in Fargo, North Dakota have been getting a pretty cold spell. We got over a foot of snow over the past three days and temperatures well below zero. So I figured instead of getting mad at mother nature, let's embrace her a little bit and hopefully she'll kind of chill out. So after looking at weaves all week, I found one that I absolutely love. It's called the Tau Tau Falls Weave. It's a little bit on the intermediate side, but I think it'll be a perfect way to incorporate some cool colors. Put on your scarfs and hats and let's jump in. So for our Tau Tau Falls weave today, we are going to need five different colors and 10 feet of each paracord. Today, we have gone with turquoise, purple, blue shock, gray silver, and black. I thought they'd make some nice winter colors. We also have a light blue carabiner, a lighter, some scissors, and we are going to be using a jig for our project today. So our first step is going to be to cow hitch a paracord around the four paracord that we actually want to use for our weave. And this paracord is going to be our center strands. Now we're going to cow hitch that around this carabiner. And the way that we're going to do it is we're going to lay all four of the colors that we want to use for our weave on the black center strand paracord. We're going to take our carabiner. We're going to put it with those four stay four and then we're gonna do a simple cow hitch okay so after we make the cow hitch around the carabiner and the four color strands we are going to just secure this a little bit by taking our right working strand and weaving it back through the cow hitch we're gonna do the same thing for the left we're gonna bring the left to the right through the cow hitch. And now we can start cinching the cow hitch together. Normally, this type of cow hitch would make a little bit of a loop at the top. If you wanted to make this weave a bracelet, you could do it that way, but we aren't gonna want that loop at the top, so we are gonna cinch it down as tight as we can to the carabiner. All right, now that we have attached our four paracord to our carabiner, we are gonna come down here and we're actually gonna cut our inner core strand. All right, so now that those two ends are closed back up, let's bring our cord back down a little bit and we are just gonna be making a basic diamond knot right on the bottom so that we can attach it to our jig. So let's make that diamond knot. The way we do this, we want to make a loop right here. We want to make sure our cord goes behind it. We want to take our left working strand. We're going to bring it above the right side of the loop we just made, underneath itself in the middle, and then back out on top of the loop. So basically, we want a figure eight with a little diamond shape in the middle. So now, we're going to take the left core strand, we're gonna come underneath this cord right here. We're gonna come underneath everything. And we're gonna bring it up through that diamond. Pull that strand there. And then we do wanna do the same thing with this cord on the left side. Bring it around. Bring it up and through the diamond. Now, let's start cinching it together. So we do have a diamond knot on the bottom and we do need to even out the center strands here. So with the diamond knot made at the bottom and our core strands pretty much the same length right in the middle, it is time to put it on the jig. 
So now that we do have the core strands of our keychain on the jig, it is time to decide which color we would like on the outside. And I think we have decided that we would like this purple to be on the outside with the blue and white being on the inside. So our first step is we're going to take the right side of our working strand. We're going to go under and over top of the two inner strands. The next step, we're going to take our left working strand. We're going to go over top of the right strand. We're going to go under and over top of the strand again. And then we're going to go under the right loop. Should have something resembling that. So we're going to start working with the silver gray strand and we're going to start from the left side. So with the left strand, we want to make a loop around the right side of the knot we just made with our purple. And how we're going to do that is we're going to go down, we're going to go through that loop and we're going to bring it back to itself. And we always want our working strand to end up on the right side of the string. So our working strand always, for every loop that we're going to be making, on the right side. Our second color, I think we're going to go with the turquoise blue. All right, so again, from the left side, we're going to take the turquoise blue strand. We're going to do the exact same thing, except instead of doing it on the right loop, we're going to do it in the middle. So we're going to take our, our cord, we're going to come around the middle. We're going to wrap itself around and we're going to bring it through. Again, wrapping around the middle core strand to the right side. We always want that working strand from the left to now the right. And finally, we're going to do the exact same thing with our blue shock. We're going to come to the left side of our turquoise slide that over just a little. We're going to bring it down, up and around, just like that. So now we have the silver gray, the turquoise, and the blue shock all hanging out with its strands on the right side of the cord itself. Now it's time to start working with our right cord. We're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to do it in the opposite direction. So we're going to start this time with the blue shock and we're going to bring it down and around the left side of our purple paracord. And again, we do want it ending on the right side. So while the working strand is still on the right side of the cord itself, we do want to bring it over to the left side of our working area. We're going to take the turquoise strand. We're going to bring it down and around. So we want it to kind of lay right next to our blue shock. And then in between the two blue shocks, we're going to twist it around the center of our cords. Again, we want the working strand to end on the right side of the cord, and we're going to bring it over to the left. And finally, we're going to take our silver gray, and we're going to do the exact same thing as we did with the turquoise. We're going to lay it down next to that turquoise, and we're going to wrap it in between the turquoise and the blue shock. All right, so you're going to end up with something that kind of looks like this. So now we are going to start cinching this down. And as we do this, as we start pulling on the purple, we want to just get it a little bit. And then we do want to pull on our working cords. So as you pull, you're going to see that the, knot, that the loop gets tighter on the inside. And you can do this as slow as you would like to. This does not have to be a fast process at all. 
And as you can see, the paracord is starting it to get tighter as you do pull it around the cord. And as you start pulling more on the purple, you can start to pull a little bit tighter on the paracords on the outside, the working strand paracord. So we have our three colors. We're going to put them back up to the top. And from here, we're going to begin the process all over again. So working again with our outside colors, the purple, we're going to take the first one, we're going to go under and over top of the two core strands. For the left working strand, we are going to go over top of the right strand. We're going to go under, over, and then under the right side of the same strand. So here we are back at the very beginning of our setup where we started weaving from the left side to the right. And again, we're just going to do that exact same process. So we are going to start with our silver gray, going to come down, going to loop it around itself. So we're going to create this weave a little bit. And again, we do want this to be a keychain, so we only want it to be maybe, maybe a couple inches long. So we're gonna continue the weave, and as soon as we get down to the bottom to where we wanna end it, we'll come back to the video. So we're going to start off the last pass by doing the exact same thing with our purple paracord. Bring it under, over, and under. So we have it started out the same way that we normally would, and this time we're just not going to loop it around the purple paracord. So we can start from our left side with our silver gray, throw it in, and just don't loop it. We want that paracord to be sitting in the back as we finish this off. So we're going to start with the gray. Again, we're going to go turquoise right through the middle. Same spot, we just don't have to loop it this time. So now we have the same basic weave of our knot, we just haven't looped it around the purple paracord. So whenever we cinch, we're going to see that all of these paracords, which you can pull in the back, we're gonna take it off of the jig right now too. And as we start pulling tighter, we can see that all of our paracord lay in the back. All right, so after we have that cinched down pretty tight and we have our back strands pulled as well, we're going to make a cobra knot around our black inner strands. And just to be on the safe side, we are going to make another one. All right, our next step is we're going to take this diamond knot and we're going to move it up along our black cord so that it sits right underneath our cobra knots. If you do need a little bit more practice at sliding knots, we are going to put our video on how to slide knots correctly in the description below. All right, so now that we have our diamond knot kind of where we want it, it could go up a little bit farther, but I actually like that little space right there. So we're gonna keep that in there. So all that's left is to cut and heat seal our paracord.
And with that, we have completed our Tau Tau Falls weave, and it's just a keychain, but as you can see, you can make it longer into a bracelet if you would like to. Uh, it's a little on the thicker side, so that's why we went with a keychain instead of a bracelet for today's tutorial, but I just love the way that this weave looks, and it's going to look so cool uh, attached to my little bag that I bring to work every single day. Thank you so much for checking out the video today. If there's anything you'd like to see for a future project, let us know in the comments below. And if this video did help you, a like and subscribe is always appreciated. Thank you so much, have a great rest of the day, and we'll see you on the next video.